Welcome to the Not Old Better Show Backstory Genealogy Series. I'm Paul Vogelsang. This is episode 209, and we're celebrating National DNA Day. As part of our Backstory Genealogy Series, joining us today is Dr. Olivier Noel. Dr. Olivier Noel is a 2017 Forbes Magazine 30 Under 30 honoree in science and is founder and CEO of DNA Simple. Dr. Noel, who grew up in Haiti, then attended medical school at Penn State, has been conducting DNA, biomedical, and developmental biology research for eight years. In celebration of National DNA Day, please join me in welcoming to the Not Old Better Show via internet phone, Dr. Olivier Noel. Dr. Olivier Noel, thanks so much for joining us today. It's a pleasure being here. Thank you, Paul. Well, the title of your talk at the National Institutes of Health, Bench to Bedside to Business, is a talk on startups in science and entrepreneurship in science. What What is your point about startups in science? Uh, yes. So, Bench to Bedside to, to Business is was really a talk about um, um, showing that there are a lot of opportunities in the sciences, actually, to make an impact and actually be entrepreneurs. I think for a long time, particularly in graduate school and medical school and training in general in the sciences, uh, you know, starting companies and being entrepreneurs has been a bit of bit, uh, a taboo and, uh, and, and a talk that people don't really have. Uh, and assuming everyone's going to go into the academia and and, uh, and the grant writing and assistant professor pipeline, uh, but but what I think is there, there are quite a number of opportunities outside of just clinical trials. As we know, these uh, processes are quite important for coming up with new drugs for patients, but they they take on average fourteen years uh, and, and more than two billion dollars. So this is quite a process that takes a long time, and I think there are other ways for us as scientists to make. Uh, an impact much faster and, and um, really reach patients. And I think we work on a lot of exciting things that I think are readily uh, translatable. And so we should work together uh, to um, do just that, um, discuss some of the ideas, discuss some of the stuff that we work on in lab right now, and how we could leverage that into tools that uh, can make it to patients today, um, whether that is a simple uh, lab technique, whether that is uh, some of the new stuff that we're learning with uh, precision medicine and how uh, and in the patient's background and uh, genetic background profile can make a difference in terms of how they respond to a medication or not. So those, I think, are opportunities that are available right now, not necessarily to go into a drug pipeline, but for scientists to discuss ways to leverage them and, and create companies, really. And ultimately, I think the win uh, is for the patients. Um, they get to use some of that information and not necessarily wait 10 to 15 years uh, for a drug to come out in the pipeline. Well, let's talk a little bit about what your company, DNA Simple, is doing. Recently featured on ABC's Shark Tank, and, mm-hmm. and none other than Mark Cuban himself was the big funding partner there. So uh, kind of a two-part question for you. Tell us a little bit about DNA Simple, and then and then number two, uh, part of the question, how has the business changed since appearing on Shark Tank? You know, what uh, what are you doing? Uh, I'm sure you've got a lot more signups, but give us that kind of that rundown since uh, your first appearing there. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, in a nutshell, DNA Simple is uh, an online database uh, where um, anyone and patients can sign up uh, in a few minutes, and we ultimately will match them to a research study looking for somebody with their background. So it's sort of a two-part uh, platform where on the one end, investigators and researchers in the genomics area uh, will tell us what uh, patient population they're looking for and studying. Um, and on the other end, we our algorithms will match the folks who uh, fit those criteria. And ultimately, we would um, anonymously get their samples and provide it to the research team um, for uh, the research. And our model is unique in terms of that uh, we do compensate folks when they participate in the research study. So an incentive on both sides to really push forward the um, sample acquisition and patient matching to research studies. So that, that's what we do. And in terms of uh, the Shark Tank, I mean, if you talk to anyone who's appeared on the show, uh, <laughs> the PR and the exposure is really the big thing that you get out of it. So I think uh, <laughs> if you look at all the numbers, it was really interesting to see a, you know, a sort of a 5X shoot up in almost every area. So uh, it's it's probably the area of the biggest impact. And, and we've cracked the uh, over 100,000 signups uh, almost uh, uh, very quickly <laughs> after that. 
So it's been great in that area. And well, congratulations, uh, Dr. Thank Noel. You. I I, uh, I personally signed up. I would encourage uh, my listeners to go and sign up. I think that my particular age group, kind of the over 55 population, uh, really might be logical fit for for this particular program with, with DNA Simple. Today's show is sponsored by DNABargains.com. Check out DNABargains.com where you'll find all things DNA testing. You'll also find Thomas McKenty's latest free, that's free, <laughs> ebook titled The DNA Buying Guide with a thorough, reputable rundown of the who, what, when, and where for all things DNA testing. That's dnabargains.com. Check out dnabargains.com to find out more about $49 DNA tests. Check out dnabargains.com and support the Not Old Better Show. Thank you. We, of course, are with Dr. Olivier Noel. He is the uh, CEO of DNA Simple. Dr. Noel, uh, as an entrepreneur, I, I know you're very busy, so I just have one final question for you. And it has to do with this idea of bio rights, which is kind of a relatively new term referring to a patient's permission uh, on specimens that have been released uh, unless they're they're compensated. And and I know that that DNA Simple does provide a, a compensation uh, plan um, for blood. I believe it's just blood at this point. I believe, or excuse me, not for blood at DNA Simple. I believe mm-hmm. it's just saliva at this point. But but does does payment for blood, saliva, or tissue samples that's used for research it, it it certainly is very high demand. But does it alter the results or even stifle medical advances? Uh, yes. Yeah, so, so just before, so just to clarify, we, we also do urine and and stool. Mm-hmm. So we've expanded good. a little bit. That's probably a, another post shark tank. Uh, good, good to know. <laughs> good to know. Yeah, but but to your a very important question, um, I, I I don't think it it does. So uh, it does alter it. I think if done in the in the right way. It's actually more beneficial. So ultimately, what you get is more patient par- uh, participation, which is what we all want. This is what uh, it's helpful ultimately to have uh, cures and, and, and drugs come out in the pipeline. So the buy rights movement is is a fairly recent one, and I think um, uh, the way I look at it is if there's economics involved and, and there's uh, money involved in the whole process, uh, why not having the patient be part of it? So I think. For us, we have a, a, a structure in place to determine and, and make sure that a sample we think is uh, from a diabetic uh, patient is from a diabetic patient. Um, and so uh, I don't think the compensation affects um, that uh, negatively at all. Um, if anything, we've got great responses. And even folks who are not interested in the compensation um, just appreciate the fact that um, it's there and they have the option to uh, donate it to a charity of their choice. So. So um, for my money, I, I don't think, um, I think it's a good thing. I mean, if there's money involved and that the patient it feels part of the process, why not? And I think if done properly, it serves really as an incentive for someone who would have been really helpful to a study. And if that's the little uh, plus that, that gets them to participate, I think everyone uh, wins in that, in that, in that end. So, so I think done in the, in the right way, it, it's, um, it's not impacting uh, negatively in medical advances, um, um, putting together within the, the right structure and understanding uh, where it's coming from and, and establishing a proper structure so that, you know, folks are not just coming in just to give the money and uh, indicating they have uh, a condition they might not have. But uh, um, within the right structure, I, I think it's actually beneficial. It seems like DNA Simple has the right structure, too. As an MD, uh, Dr. Olivia Noel, you have maybe a a slightly different perspective than somebody coming at this from a purely business standpoint. Would you say that? I I agree. I Mm -hmm. agree. Mm -hmm. Um, Whether you're looking at it from an economic standpoint strictly, um, yeah, I agree. I mean, for me, again, being being a a Mm physician-scientist in in training – um, I, I've, I, I, I'm, I am excited about the idea of having more people participate. Um, and so 
to me, if you could create incentives, um, and this is something we've done in the past in terms of you know, maybe offering gift cards and uh, little things, but I think the, the, it's, it's new in terms of offering cash now um, for those. But, but I get excited with the idea of having more people participate. So mm-hmm. I think um, what we ought to do is, is set up a structure where if there's money involved, which there is, um, we as a group should determine what's a way to create incentives and, and have the patient also um, take part of the economics. But ultimately, the goal is to have uh, more patient participate, more participant in studies so that, you know, these studies can move on and not you know, cancel after three, four years for lack of uh, patient participation. Well, Dr. Olivier Noel, thank you so much for joining us. Of course, DNA Simple is uh, the company. Uh, We heard, of course, from you yesterday at the National Institutes of Health National DNA Day. But Dr. Olivier Noel, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. It's a pleasure, Paul. Thank you for having me. Of course. Thank you. My thanks to our guest today, Dr. Olivier Noel, MD and CEO of DNA Simple. Links to DNA Simple website at dnasimple.org will be in our show notes. And, as usual, we'll post all the links to everything else. And also, as usual, my thanks to you, the listeners, for joining me today. Your time is valuable, and I'm grateful you're spending some of it with me. I'm always interested in feedback, and you can leave that at iTunes, Google Play, or send me email at info at notold-better.com. Check out our next show, another great one, as we talk about better, the Not Old Better Show. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody.